I need somebody help, not just anybody help. You know I need someone. Help. This is incredible. It brings forth another line that is so powerful that most people think that it is literally the Word of God. Want to take a guess? No. Good. Okay. <laughs> God helps those oh, yes. who help themselves. Yes. yes, so many people do believe that. Well, I, I actually, I went and I checked this. In a poll not too long ago here, in, well here, I'm, we're not here, mm -hmm. there in the United States of America, more than 80% of all of the Christians questioned believe that that statement is in the Bible. All right, so that's the lie. And it's an incredibly, as I said, this is, this is an incredibly powerful lie. But the incredibly powerful truth is this, because God's Word is truth. Yes. This, I'm just going to read you a couple of verses. 2 Samuel 22, verse 7. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. Yes, I cried to my God, and from his temple he heard my voice, and my cry for help came into his ears. Psalm 30, verse 2. O oh Lord my God, I cried for help mm. to you, and you healed me. Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains, from whence cometh my help? Right. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. This is where we get our help. Alright? This is where we get our help. In the very next chapter of Paul's letter, which we'll get to someday, <laughs> he says, For whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10, 13. The simple truth is this. God helps those who cry out to Him for help. Amen. You know, and again, this makes me think again about the person in the boat. There's nothing but seawater around them. But if they cried out to the Lord, He would make a way. He would um, send rain. He'd send rain. He'd do something. <laughs> yes, He would. But He'll help those who cry yes, out for help. He would. The devil wants you to believe that you've got to do it. Yes. The truth is you can't. The truth is you can't. Mm -hmm. God says, call out to me, right? Yes. Cast your cares on me because I care for you. Yes, he does. I, I'm not a songwriter, but I've written a number of songs. The Lord gave you quite a few. Yeah. The Lord gave me quite a few. Every every song that I've written, I actually wrote while praying. While praying. I used to talking to him. I used to sit in with my guitar and just tinkle dingle dingle and, and pray, and boom, there would be a song. Yeah. <coughs> One of the songs was Raindrops. That was true. <laughs> I'm thinking oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Which one's Jennifer? No, keep going. Uh, come to me. Yeah. All you with pain. Yes. Come to me, all of you with pain. Call on my name. Yes. Right. I will give you rest for your soul. I will give you rest for your soul. That's what God desires, and that's that's what He's telling us. That's what He's teaching us. Oh, when you, He is a loving Father. He is a loving Father. Yes, what is. we need to do is call to Him. He is the one that will make a way. He is a way. He, he, he is the one who has made a way. Okay. Amen. But pride does not allow for the confession that mm. I'm helpless on my own. Right. I can do it. I can do it. That's, that is what it's all about. Mm. Pride never wants to admit that I can't do it. Why do you think guys run around and won't ask for help of getting directions someplace? Come on, get over it. <laughs> We have, to, we have to be willing to recognize and admit that we can't do it on our own. And then we can gladly cry out for help from Him who can help. Come to me, all you with pain, come and see. Suffering, heard what you pray.